that we're doing something meaningful versus, oh, that wasn't that important, or I really wish you would have followed up or explained that a little bit more. So good. I'm glad this format was good for you. For me, yeah. yeah. Me. And I have family members, young family members, that have died from drug overdose. And, yeah. um, so if I'm ever in a place where I can help somebody, I, I always would like to know what I can do, even though I never know what I can do. Yeah, sure. It's something the opioid, was, it's all, you know, the doctors, they prescribe things and then people are addicted, but I think it, it, it's, it's too, it's many different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyone who says this is the problem or this is how it happened is not it, it is caught up in their own personal story um, and needs to take a step back. Um, but often, often we can't. So one of the things that happens in our field is we have a lot of passionate people, and a lot of times it, it is customized around our own experiences. Um, we will do better for our clients. We'll do better for the community to educate when we're able to sit back and have a holistic approach because. Yes, the doctors overprescribe absolutely. But you'll have some people step up and say the whole reason you're the problem is because yes, what did, did people come through and say and, and push this medication out and say it wasn't addictive? Well, yes, there were people who right. made millions and millions of dollars on people's back, on the backs of people. Um, but that is not at all the whole story of our opioid crisis because I mean it is definitely part of the story. Um, but the fact of our youth culture and that shifting and and we know about progression of use, and so when I have kids who are four steps up farther along now than they were seven years ago, that's part of the story as well. Um, we're, we're, yeah, there's no simple, simple reason and no simple solution. Well, thank, thank you, guys you very much. so much. You're very welcome. Uh, there are evaluation forms on your chair, so if you fill those out. And a reminder that next week, Priscilla Schaefer and Jackie Johnson are here from Ottigan Area Recovery. Both of them are fantastic. Yeah, uh, talking about the importance of peer support in recovery. And I also wanted to uh, remind you that the last Friday of the month, we'll be showing the movie Recovery Boys, uh, about four young men in recovery from heroin addiction, uh, Netflix documentary. That I think is very well done. Thank you. Um, and I want to chat with you. By the way, this came up to uh, the question of marijuana. Uh, our Inspire program is kicking off again in September. Our topic in October is marijuana, what you need to know before you go vote in November. And so uh, looking at panelists to present both pros and cons. And uh, I haven't heard back from somebody, so I'm wondering if you might be available. I'd be happy to if I was going to look at my schedule. I know I'm doing a few things in Kent County, too, at that, so. Okay. Before I'm you leave, we'll no. look at calendars. Okay. I'm not voting now. Excellent.